Hey up everybody. Well I don't think I'm going to get anything done on my uh, steam loco this week. Uh, reason being, I'll tell you in a minute, I've got problems with car and various other things going off. Um, so I'm just doing this bit of an update really to show you what I've had coming to workshop. I've been gifted a, a project by one of our elder members up at my local club Peter. So if you're watching Peter Thank you very much, uh, a bit more work for me to do. So, I thought I'd just show you this, it's, it looks very interesting. So unfortunately, nothing on this this week, till I get my car finished. And uh, I'll just show you what I've had gifted to me over on workbench. Just before I take you over to workbench to show you what I've got, uh, I had car remoted the uh, other day. It didn't actually fail, uh, but the tester that does it, oh I know, uh, he mentioned that my drive belts were on its way out, on my auxiliary drive belts. That's the, um, the alternator and the power steering belt or is it the aircon belt I just forget whichever anyway I'll tell you some uh, mechanics earn the, earn the money really because it's a bloody nightmare to get these off you've got to take air conditioning pump off um, I suppose it's a lot easier if you've got a car ramp uh, or a car lift but when you're working underneath like I am, I've had to take all the inner lining out, the plastic lining to get to it, and the bolts are right up under here, and right down in the front. It's a bit of a nightmare to get to, but, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. Anyway, they're done now, and the moral of the story is, don't trust it when you go to auto supplies for you. Uh, spares because this belt fitted okay but this belt here the according to part number it went right part number but the belt would, wouldn't even look at it so I had to go out back down to uh, my supplier and uh, he measured my original belt and said yeah it's it's 40 millimeter longer uh, or nearly two inch in old money so uh, he went and scoured his uh, warehouse and brought me one I think it was 30 mil longer than the the original one and it's just managed to fit I've had to put this uh, this uh, jockey pulley I've had to put it right back to its minimum setting to get it on anyway it's on now so while I was doing that I looked at my brake pads and I thought, crikey, it's owned an MOT I haven't, in, haven't picked up on them. So uh, I've got them off. Uh, just doing a bit of de-rust in there around them. And while I, were, while I were doing it, I've just given them a clean up in lathe. I've only took a few thou off, uh, just to clean rust off really. So that's what I've been up to and that's where I'm still up to. And I've got the other side of the car to do. Uh, next so that's why I've not been able to get to this but where are you oh you're there um, but uh, Peter up at my local track is one of our I'll, I'll call him a founder member he's not a founder member I don't think because he's not the club's been going for 90 years and so he, he can't be a founder member but he's getting close um, is give me these castings here so this might be my first project for my micro lathe I think I might not get all the parts done on the micro lathe but you know I'll get I should be able to get at least some of them done it's a it's a steam water pump there's all the castings for it 
and it and it's given me a set of drawings. It's something he says he'll never get get round to get finishing. So it's a, a six inch, I think, steam water pump, which I may be able to fit onto me loco when I've done it. It's for pumping water into the boiler using steam for anybody that's not quite sure. I mean, I'm not familiar with these. I've got to say, I've never, I've never, I don't think I've ever seen one to be honest. So I've certainly never made one. Um, but it looks an interesting project. When you look at drawings, you look quite involved, but I suppose it's like anything, you, you've got to take it at bite-sized chunks, haven't you? So that, that's all the parts that want doing. Here's all the castings to do them. And uh, that's, what it'll, that's what it will look like when it's finished. Yeah, so there's quite a... There's quite a lot to do on it, so what I'm going to try and do is um, over winter I'll do a bit on my, on my loco and then try and do a bit on this and I'll see how it pans out. I know it's going to slow me down on my loco but you know I'm not in no great hurry to do that anyway. So uh, watch this space. It might give my micro lathe its first, its first job, this project. Right, so uh, that's it for this one, just a quick update really, of what, what's coming up. So, uh, I think I'll sign off for now. Well that's it then for that little update, uh, I'll probably catch you next time either on my steam loco or making a start on, uh, on this steam water pump. Uh, so, I'm going to sign off for now then. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.